So here we have is our VGA Plus Audio 1x8 UTP splitter. The part number for this is the R02T dash, or you see right here, dash SPL 358-108B. So here you see, this is the back side. So you see the eight ports for the UTP cables. Uh, this also has an input and the input and the audio input. Additionally, you have a local output with audio. So since this is only eight put eight port, I will I'll be testing this in stages since I don't have eight monitors. I'm just gonna use four of them at a time. But first, I want to do the show you the input first and then the out local output. Okay, so first, I have a source cable. I'm just using a short 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 source cable right now. To the computer that has VGA, so I'm gonna plug it in, plug the audio in, and now I'm gonna also get a monitor. I'm just use one of these monitors out, and I'm gonna plug it into the local side. And lastly, I'm gonna plug in the power. So here, real quick, you see video come up. Now. You see a PA246, the EDID, and then the resolution. Now, this unit has EDID copying, and to do that, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So, I'm going to unplug the unit, unplug everything, and you notice the input right here. On the input, you plug in the monitor you want to read. So, I'll plug in the monitor in. And then plug the power. When you do the power comes on, EDID light comes on, wait for it to go away, and then basically that yes, means it's been read. Right. So you do it again. To do EDID reading, you plug in the monitor into the input that you want to read, plug in power, wait for the ED LED light to go off, and you're good. So here, EDID has been read. And to check, real quick, I check like this. I plug everything back in. Check the power, plug in the power. Make sure the lights come on, everything come on. And you'll notice that the display changes from the PA, whatever monitor, to the Acer monitor. So EDID has been copied. And you will notice the resolution. But the resolution does the same, but changes, whatever. So, last thing I want to check is if sound is working. So I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to plug a speaker into the local port and play an audio file. So we know sound is coming from computer to and going from to local monitor and the speaker. Now, just to show you that it is from the speaker, you need to unplug the speaker from the local. So sound goes off. And then also you need to unplug audio in. So nothing is going into the speaker, so nothing coming out. But this is again, this is the audio we have here is mono audio. Basically, it's one channel. Okay. So here we go. You know, you found so this unit local port works. Everything works correctly as is. Most do. So now I am actually going to show you the extension ports. So right here, I prepared some some. Receivers, receiver units. So, with these four monitors, I have receiver units connected to all of them. They're all different types of receivers, so length I'll be using is differently. So, first of all, first of all, I'm going to use the thousand feet. So, I'm going to plug everything back in. So, here I have a couple short my cables. I have a mix of a thousand feet, five hundred feet, and three hundred feet. It depends on what receiver you use that determines the resolution and maximum distances. So I'm gonna plug everything in. Uh, let me turn the audio off first. So I plug everything in, and let's wait for a while, minute. So here you see every video comes up from the four ports. So that's and then this is 1024. I'm using a lower resolution right now because the cable lengths are pretty high. 
the lengths are pretty high, and then I'm, doing, I'm maxing out for whatever they have. So, <coughs> um, next I want to test check is the audio. Make sure each port has audio coming out. So, I am going to open up audio file real quick. So, immediately you already hear audio. Right now, I'm getting I'm getting audio from here, this unit. There's a speaker right here. I have the speaker connected to this receiver unit. That's connected to the monitor. Now, if I unplug it, you still hear audio from this monitor that has the speaker speakers. Because this receiver also is connected to it. Now, I'm gonna connect this receiver unit, this speaker, to a different receiver unit, to this ASUS, mo ASUS monitor. Here you hear auto come out from that also. So and lastly, I'm gonna connect to a different receiver. The last receiver I have connected to this, which is to the HP monitor. And here, so here you see auto come out also. So now you hear from all three receivers, so basically from ports 1 to 4, video, audio, all pass through. Now, now with this, since I only have, I'm new to my monitor, I'm going to change the ports real quick. So you go here, I'm going to change from the, the first four to the second set, to the last set of four. Again, I'm going to just randomly choose what to pick, hook in. Doesn't matter what order I choose, as long as I choose from the next four. Now these four, same thing again, you see video come up. Same quality as the previous one. All could work, run well. And then you need to check the audio again, make sure there, there is audio. So first you're heading in from the receiver that's connected to this monitor. Now you unplug it and change the difference. So I unplugged it and I need to take, plug it to this monitor receiver. So from here, you also hear from this receiver. Get unplug it. I want to change it to the Acer monitor. You hear also audio coming out. And lastly, I'm gonna plug this here from here. So now with all four, the second set of four ports, video, audio also pass through. So that's it for this. Now, let me say again, this is this unit, these are determined by your res the resolutions and the length is determined by receivers. I'm using a mixed set of receivers right now, so I'm going to lower distances. However, um, if you use like a different cable, if you like use a different receivers that has high resonance, you can as long as the cable matches, you're fine. Previously, I used short, longer lengths with the low resolution. Now I'm gonna just do real quick, concentrate on the higher resolution that we support up to. This unit, this unit supports the 1920 by 1080. I'll be using these two monitors. These monitors I put shorter cables on, around 500 feet, because they have the, these are the longer length receivers. So here you see video come up. So from here, give a minute for that. The Samsung takes a while to detect. So here you go, it comes up. Now, because I'm using shorter length, I could go higher. So I'm gonna go 1080, 920 by 1080, which is what we expect for this. You hit apply. And here you see both monitors are at 1920 by 1080. Now I'm only using the first two ports of the splitter. But you want, I can change it right now. Let me change it real quick. So we need other runs. I did a four and seven. Same thing, video does come up. Same, every port is the same. So I go, so I short, with shorter cable, with the long, long distance receivers, I also go with my higher max resolution is like 20 by 1080. So it also works. 
Lastly, check the audio same. Check if the audio comes same too. So yeah, that audio, the TV monitor has audio, and speaker connected to this receiver also have audio. So from here you see video does work. Now really quick again, let me change another port, two different ports. I'm gonna change to six and eight, and you see same thing, audio from here good, audio from there good. So like I said, the distance. The length and the resolution supported depends on your receiver units, and but this unit could could display up to 1019 20 by 1080 for each port on each port, and it has audio and EID copy.